Why is my head like fully tilted right now? All right, so today we're doing a vampy, smoky eye New Year's Eve makeup look, and this is also shadow and schmooze, so I'm just catching you guys up on life, talking about New Year's resolutions, answering some of your questions on Twitter. Hope you guys had a good Christmas, if that's what you celebrate. If not, I hope you had a good day off, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do while you're watching, you can give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, you can join the Bayrito family and subscribe. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time, even with the holidays going on. Hell yeah for that. Thumbs up. Hey guys, so my future self is popping in here vlog style to let you know a little exciting announcement. I actually pre-filmed this shadow and schmooze so I couldn't talk about it in that video because I didn't know the exact date and everything that things were launching. So right now when this video goes up, I'll have a link down below. My new three styles of merch are up and it's not just like a t-shirt that I slapped a design on. I worked with a designer the past few months and I really put a lot of time and effort into finding a merch company that has bomb quality that's going to wash well. So one of the products is like a huge mug, like a really thick, nice quality mug. And then I have a crew neck sweatshirt, which is so soft and I love the design. And then my favorite thing of all time is this poster. So it's the 99 bottles of foundation on the wall poster. And I wanted it to look like something that you could frame or hang up as like wall art, either in your beauty room or in your home, anywhere in your apartment, whatever. But the way that this company works is they do pre-orders. So they have like an exact amount that they know that they need to order. So pre-orders are up right now, which means that you'll be getting your orders like they'll be shipping in a couple weeks it says the exact date on there they do ship internationally and the crew neck is available in plus size so it goes up to size 4xl it's actually a different model a different style because i wanted to make sure that there were plus size options for you guys on there i'm super excited i hope you guys like it link down below back to the video okay I will probably be changing my hair about 50,000 times in this video because it's driving me a little crazy today. But I'm going to start out with this product I haven't tried. I think I got this off of Yes Style. I think it's like a Korean product, maybe? This is the Artless Glow Base SPF 50. Some of the makeup I'm using in today's video is a first impression. Actually, a lot of it. And then other stuff is just my usual products and stuff. But I'm going to be doing a full drugstore first impressions video coming. It smells like a perfume. I'm not super into fragranced skincare products or foundations because it just is a little unnecessary, but this does smell really freaking good. Feels very nice and moisturizing, and it definitely just added some glow. I've been really liking the NYX Angel Veil to blur the pores, so I'm just gonna add a tiny bit. I don't bring this all over my face, I usually just put it right around my nose area. All right, let's get the foundation going, and then I'll get into the questions and New Year's Eve and all that good stuff. Goals all the things. So I'm going to mix the Laura Geller Cover Lock Foundation with the Naked Skin One and Done by Urban Decay. I've never tried this. I was kind of saving it to do a first impression on, but then I don't know. I'm just going to use it in this video. This is like more of a tinted moisturizer, so I kind of just wanted to mix the two. I will try this on its own, of course, afterwards, but I just wanted to mix the two for this video just to add some coverage in. I'm going to be doing more like bold makeup on the rest of my face. So when you guys are seeing this video, I will be, where will I be? I'll be in either Tahoe or I'll already be in Portland. I'm coming back to Seattle for like a day and then I go to Portland for New Year's Eve, which I'll get into, but we'll be in Tahoe for the week of Christmas. So actually right now when I'm filming this, what day is it? It is December 14th. I'm trying to stay way ahead of the game with videos pre-filmed for January because then as soon as I get back from New Year's, I'm gonna be hopping straight into pre-filming for 15 Days of Foundation. Update on the Laura Geller cover lock, by the way. I've been using this a lot. I brought this with me to San Diego when I went for Hanukkah. And I've been really liking it on my dry skin still. This was one of my favorite foundations when I had oily skin. But I did have to use like oil combating kind of products with this foundation. Or else it would kind of break down throughout the day when I had oily skin. Now that I have dry skin, I still like this foundation. I just have to definitely set it with setting spray to give it more of like a skin-like dewy kind of glow throughout the day. So because I am starting, oh, I just got a lot, starting to pre-film 15 days of foundation again, I'm going to be like switching up the foundation Friday topics because I have to still do those while filming the other foundation videos. So I am going to do another foundation update video like I did a couple, like a month or two ago. I do want to do my top foundations for dry skin. It's just so hard because I keep doing foundation reviews and then I keep having more and then I feel like I need to try them out for more time before I include it in a video. You know, it's a whole, it's a whole process. So whenever I do that video, I just want to obviously be like 110% on all the products that I talk about in that video. I haven't released the dates yet. I'll let you guys know when it gets closer, but I will be doing the announcement video and stuff again soon. The way the timing works out with 
brands and stuff involved is they all have excess product after the new year. So when I'm reaching out to these brands to get involved in beauty wishes, that's the best time because that's when they all have excess product that they can donate. So that's kind of why we do it this time of year. That base is looking really pretty. Like those two together mixed, I feel like once I have on setting spray, it'll look even better. I have a new concealer to try out. I'm a little bit scared for this because I despise the foundation, but this is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. I got the shade Fair. Oh, this looks pretty yellow. Uh oh. I'm not sure when it'll be going up in relation to this video, but I did film a How I Grew My Hair video, which a ton of you guys have asked about since uh, going through the whole hair fiasco. But in that video, I don't mention what I'm going to talk to you guys about now because I was pre-filmed. But I think I'm feeling like I want to put just a few extensions in right now. Oh, I don't like that with the brush. Okay, I'm going to try the sponge. Uh-oh, that dries super quick. So definitely don't do both eyes before you blend that out. I feel like I'm going to like that one mixed better. I'm going to add actually some of my Flower Beauty Concealer on top just to get the shade better and to blend that out a little bit more because it's looking a little funky. I could see that one mixing well with this though. Like I usually apply this down first and then I would apply another concealer on top because it has the same uh, kind of like dry down as the KKW. And the coverage actually looked pretty nice. So I'll try doing that how I'd actually do it next time. So the medication I'm on right now for my migraines, Amovig, I've experienced major hair loss and hair thinning. The neurologist said she hasn't heard of that, but I went on Reddit and there's a whole thread of people who have experienced the same thing. So let me know if any of you guys are on Amovig if you've also experienced that. But because of that, I feel like my hair is more thin that, than it has ever been in my life. I'm feeling like I wanna just add in a few extensions just to add some length and like volume to my hair until it grows out a little bit more. It's like down to here now, but I want it to grow. I just want really long hair right now. I'm like in a long hair mood, but I ordered those same extensions again. So I think I'm gonna attempt to apply them myself. And if it's a total fail, then I'll go back into the salon to have them apply them. But I've watched videos on it and it doesn't look super hard. I think I can do it. I've also been watching hair cutting videos. So it could be a total fail, but I'm gonna attempt to put the hair extensions in myself and also trim them. Don't know. I'll probably vlog it for you guys if I do try that. But I'm thinking I'm probably gonna do that soon. I'm just using my Physician's Formula Powder. Just on my cheek area. Let's hop into the questions. So I asked you guys on Twitter to ask questions. Main one was obviously, what are you doing for New Year's? So for New Year's this year, I am gonna be in Portland with my boyfriend and his family. So I'm super excited to meet them. That'll be the first time I'm meeting them. They'll be there for a few days. Rach is also coming just for New Year's Eve because they're doing like a big party and stuff. So everyone's friends friends of friends are coming and everything. So I'm flying from Tahoe to here and then I think I have like half a day and then I'll probably be taking the train up. If I can take the train and avoid driving, I usually do. I'm just gonna say it, trains are the best mode of transportation, okay? You can go on Wi-Fi, you can work, you can stare out the window, you don't have to deal with traffic. I love trains. Speaking of trains, there's actually a, whoops, train that goes from Seattle to Vancouver that goes right along the water most of the way and I really wanna do that, it looks so pretty. So while I was in San Diego for Hanukkah, my dad and I filmed a video together and I had him guess the price of makeup. So you guys will be seeing that. Yeah, that'll definitely be up after this video. So that will be coming soon. So I have no idea how this is gonna look on me because it is shimmery. I'm not sure if this was supposed to be a bronzer. It just says, oh, it's a mineralized skin finish. So if this is your skin tone, you could use this all over your face as like a finishing powder. That's usually what MSFs are, but this I'm gonna try to use as a bronzer. It might be way too glowy. I'm gonna first apply it on like the blush area of my face, apples of my cheeks, just in case it is way too shimmery because I feel like shimmery blushes, you can pull off more than shimmery bronzers. Oh yeah, it's definitely pretty shimmery, so I'm glad I did that as a blush more. Ooh, pretty tone though. You can see like the gold reflect right there. I am still gonna put on a highlight, but if you wanted to, you could probably pass on the highlight and just apply this on the cheeks. Was this supposed to have a mirror? I can't tell. I have these two little like hairs here that um, I actually shaved right there just to try because I have like a massive widow's peak there. It didn't really go well. I'm gonna try and pluck these out. It surprisingly doesn't hurt at all. I can't really feel that. Just to add a little bit, I'm gonna go in with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Okay, we need another question. Kristen says, any bucket list items you wanna cross off in 2019? Adventures, travel, destinations, etc." 
I always book my trips, like my international trips, really last minute because that's when you can find like the best flight deals. I'm gonna go in with this Too Faced little thing, strawberry guy, what is this called? Strawberry. I might mix the two shades. I'm gonna use a duo fiber because I don't know how pigmented these are gonna be. Yeah, I'm just gonna swirl the two shades. Ooh, that's pretty. Does this also smell? Yep. Ugh. I can't with the Too Faced scents. Oh, that looks really pretty though. Ooh, I'm liking the cheeks today. Highlight, I'm gonna try the Too Faced Diamond Light. I'm hoping, I'm gonna see this shade first. Uh, never mind, that looks like purple. I'm really not into the whites that look like purple blue highlighters. Let's try this shade. This is Fancy Pink Diamond. This looks like more of a peachy pink. Ooh, that looks pretty. Okay, let's try that. I actually really want to make skydiving happen this year. I had plans to go skydiving like a couple years ago in Seattle and then we got rained out. Rach and I were going to go one morning. We like woke up, we were all dressed and then we got a call from them saying that it wasn't like safe weather to go skydiving. And then after that, I kind of just decided that I don't want to go skydiving in Washington. I want to go probably in another country. So I think that's going to happen this year. I almost went in Israel too. I've almost gone like three times and it just doesn't work out for one reason or another. Is that a sign? <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, that is pretty. That almost has reminded me of the Makeup Revolution goddess of love that I love. Goddess of love. Looks like skin. It's not like sitting or emphasizing my texture. It is one of those like wet look highlighters. I've been really liking this brush to apply my MAC paint pot to my lids. This is the Sephora concealer brush, pro concealer. Don't like it for concealer, but I like it for my paint pot. Still have most of my makeup packed in my travel makeup bag. I got this from Target. How cute. Showed this in a vlog. I know a lot of you guys have been really like in the vlogs. If you're not a vlog person, just watch one vlog. Then you can decide if you're not a vlog person or not. Okay, before we go in for eyeshadow, I'm gonna spray my face. I wanted to try out this. I feel like I used this one time a long time ago, but I went to spray it and it's like not working. So instead, I'm just gonna use my Catrice Dewy Glow. This actually has been coming back in stock on Ulta a lot. I've been posting almost every time on Twitter when it comes back in stock because so many of you guys message me saying you can't get your hands on this. So anytime someone messages me saying they see it back in stock, I tweet it out to you guys so you can buy it finally. Okay, so for this video, I think I wanna do a cool toned New Year's Eve look. So I think I'm gonna try this Mac Patrick Star guy right here and I'm mainly gonna use this shade on the lid. It almost has like a little bit of like a blue tone to it which is really pretty for that like icy kind of look. Just gonna go back in with my bronzer. You could take whatever bronzer you use and just plop that into the crease just as like a transition. All right, so there were a few questions about motivation. Do I do New Year's resolutions? Ashley says, I'm wanting to amp up my productivity and complete my goals this year. How do you set yourself up for a great year? So let's just answer all of those in one. So I talk in depth about how I set goals, how I plan, how I do all that kind of stuff in my motivation productivity tips video. I'll link that down below. It's funny because that's one of my most asked things, but one of the things I do and what I do for New Year's too and for any time of the year basically is set a date that I want to have something done by and then work backwards from that and plan to make it actually happen even if it's like over a course of two months. Whether it's work or if it's just a personal goal or whatever, there are usually multiple things that need to happen before you can accomplish that thing. So I feel like if you have actionable things that you need to get done by certain dates, then that keeps you accountable and you're on track to actually finish your goal. Going in with this palette now, I'm gonna take that purpley shade. So I just feel like having an actual date that you need to get something done by, whether you wanna get it done by or there's something else holding you accountable to get it done by that date, put that date down in your planner, get a planner, tip number one. Went all through that in the motivation hacks video, get a planner. I literally could not get anything done if I didn't have a planner. You need to write things down. You need to be able to like visualize it and look down and see what you have to get done that specific day. Overall, that's like my biggest tip is you need to break it down by the actual day. Every single night before I go to bed, I look at my planner to see what I need to do that next day because that tells me what time I need to wake up. I don't do it like by the minute, you guys. Like I just have a general idea of what my goals are 
for the next day so that when I wake up, I know exactly where I need to start. I'm not wasting an hour figuring out what I need to do that day. I can actually just start and get it done. So even if your goal is working out or something like that, if you know you wanna work out five times a week and that's your new year's resolution, then you need to actually figure out like if you have a doctor's appointment that day, when are you gonna work out? If you're going to work after that, you just need to figure out when you're actually gonna fit time in to make it happen. We all have the same amount of hours in the day. It's literally just how we prioritize our time. And we do have time for things. It's literally just what you choose to prioritize. So if you say you don't have time to do something, then you're obviously making a sacrifice with something else, which is fine. Like people have different priorities. You don't need to prioritize work all the time. Maybe your priority is your relationship or friends or spending more time with family. Whatever your goal is, you can fit it in. You just need to organize your time. So I usually don't do New Year's resolutions because I just feel like I do goals throughout the year. Like every few months, I'll just check in and see like basically am I on track to hit the goal that I wanted to for the year. So I, I don't know if I do. Does that count as a New Year's resolution? I have something that I want to accomplish in 2019 and then I do a timeline so that I can actually get it done and do it. So I do have a couple things. I'm not going to be sharing them because uh, I don't know. I should like to keep that to myself so I can get it done, you know? Some people I feel like it works better for them to say their goals to other people so it like holds them accountable for it. But for myself, that just like puts a lot of unnecessary pressure on me where I feel like I I put enough pressure on myself that ha adding that other layer in is just like too much. Like I feel like if I tell myself I wanna do something, it's enough pressure. But if you're someone who feels like you get more shit done if you tell someone else so that they can hold you accountable, then do it. Tell your significant other, your friend, your parents, whatever. So I'm going to go in with this darker brown shade now. And I'm going to do like a kind of diagonal shape again with this. Lately I've just been really liking what that does to my eye shape. I think it's really pretty for more like smoky looks like this. I actually want to touch back on how do you set yourself up for a great year. I feel like it's all about the attitude. Say you had a really shitty 2018. I'm someone who does get some kind of like sense of fresh and like restarting when the new year hits. I know some people are like, it's literally a day later. It doesn't make a difference for me. It's just like the mindset. I don't know. There's something that changes and I get really excited for new year's. I love new year's Eve. It's one of my favorite holidays, if not my favorite holiday. And there's just something like super exciting to me about starting a new year. So I feel like it's just all about the mindset. Even if you had a shitty last year, it wasn't your best year. It's a new year. Tomorrow's a new day, whether it's 2018 or 2019, however you want to think about it. It's all your mindset and just how you approach every day, you know? I don't have great days every day because of my body issues and chronic pain, but it's all about how you look at it. The smaller pointed brush, I'm gonna go back in with that purple shade just to kind of bring that a little bit farther in and higher, just to give the appearance of having a little bit bigger eyes there. So I'm gonna go in with the bluey silvery shade. I'm gonna coat that on my brush and then spray it with MAC Fix Plus. Andriana says, have you and your boyfriend made any plans, trips, etc., together for next year? Yeah, so we have a cabin trip planned for January. Where did I put Fix Plus? We hopefully will have a international trip happening that is for his work. Ooh, wow. Something just happened on that second layer. Got that base down and now it's popping. Where he works, they always find out like last minute if trips are actually happening. So basically I would be booking my plane tickets like probably within a few weeks or a couple weeks of actually going. Super up in the air, but hopefully it happens. Probably Portland again. I actually have a really cute Airbnb booked for that video series. I'm just blending out those edges super lightly. That shade wet is super pretty. Yeah, this shade you definitely need to pack on, but once you do, you really get the pop. Super pretty once you pack it. Ashley says, how do you prefer your new year? Do you like to go out and party or keep it toned down and chill? So every other day of the year, like literally 364 days of the year, I would say toned down and chill. But New Year's Eve, because it's my favorite holiday and because I just love like the whole idea of it and everything, uh, I like to go out on New Year's. I think it's so fun being surrounded by people, watching the ball drop. I don't know. There's just something super exciting about New Year's Eve to me. And I just love being out for it and like getting dressed up the makeup, the glitter, everything about New Year's Eve I'm just a big fan of, but literally every other day of the year, I just chill. So I'm gonna go in with Stila Diamond Dust. I'm gonna start it on the inner corner and see if I wanna bring it to the rest of my eye. I might just focus it right in the front. Mine feels like a little bit dry or empty or something. 
on a super smoky lower lash line today, so I'm gonna first go in with the deeper brown shade. Okay, I'm gonna apply black eyeliner to the waterline. Then I'm gonna do my usual, go in with a flat liner brush and take the black shade in here and just press that right underneath that line under my lashes. I need like a little bit of black right in the outer corner, so I'm gonna go back with that black shade. This is just a domed like stiffer brush. This is the E34 by Sigma. And just to like connect that right here, and then again, kind of angle it in a little bit. Just to kind of connect my top with my bottom right there. Why is my head like fully tilted right now? And I think last step for the eyeshadow, before we do lashes and stuff, I'm just gonna go back with the Stila glitter and press that on the bottom lower lash line. I think my glitter might be a tiny bit dried up. If you have any kind of fallout or anything you need to get off your face, a duo fiber brush, like a really loose one, is really good at just flicking it away. This is the F15. My Sigma brush set, by the way, they wanted to keep for longer, so it's still in stock if you guys want to buy it. They've restocked a few times now, so you can still get my brush set. It has the F15, F80 flat top kabuki, and my highlight brush, all three that I use pretty much every day. Alicia says, best New Year's Eve kiss-proof lipsticks. Recently, I've been freaking obsessed with this. If I do a red, I'm going to use this today. But I think it might, I don't know if it'll clash with like the silver. But the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink, these are amazing. They dry down, completely matte, they don't budge. Like these are for sure kiss proof. You have to use a really oily remover to get them off at the end of the night. But these are bomb and from the drugstore. I've been loving the shade 117 Groundbreaker. It's what I wore in my foundation collection video. I kind of want to do like a deep purple, like a vampy purple for this look. I feel like I haven't done a deep lip color in a while, so I think I'm going to do that. But if I was wearing like a gold eye look, I would wear this with it. So I'm going to go put on some false lashes and then we'll be back for lipstick. All right, so I put lashes on. I use the Eyelore Jasmine Brown Francis So Pretty Lashes. But I think what I'm going to do is try a nude lip, mostly because I really want to see how this color looks. This is the Peachy Peter lipstick. I want to see how this color looks, but then I'm probably going to go in with a like vampy lip color just because it's New Year's and got to go all out, you know, but I'm curious how this shade looks. Ooh. Oh, heck yeah. It is hard to find a really light nude. I'd probably wear a lip liner with this, by the way, but because I'm going to be wiping it off and doing like the vampy lip, I'm not going to, but it's hard to find a super nude for my skin tone that doesn't look orangey, but that has the right amount of like peach and pink tones in it. Oh, I can tell I'm gonna get a ton of use out of this. Because I'm using a liquid lip, I don't really care if there's like some left over, it'll just cover it anyways. So if you want a New Year's vampy holiday deeper kind of lip shade, I have a few options for you guys here. So this one is the cheapest. This is the AOA, I love the shade Vintage. Such a beautiful shade. Or it's in one of my fall makeup videos, super pretty if you wanna see how it looks on. The one I think I'm gonna go with is this Physicians Formula one, if it doesn't look too purple, but this is in the shade Nourishing Plum, or I'm debating between these two. These two are a little bit more long-lasting than the Physicians Formula one, so if you wanted to wear like a totally, like I said, kiss-proof one, I would say go with this formula. This one almost looks like more magenta-y. This is in the shade 115 Founder. This one is 112, and this definitely looks like a deep, vampy purple. I'm gonna first see how this Physicians Formula one does. And if it's not what I'm looking for, oh yeah, that's what I'm looking for. It's like that super pretty oxblood kind of shade. I don't use lip liners with liquid lipstick because I find it's easiest to just use the tip and get like a smooth line there. And I just do it in one swoop. All right, so lipstick has dried down. Like I said, you do have to give these ones a couple minutes to really mattify and dry down. Not as kiss proof as this one. So if you're looking for something like that's not gonna budge the entire New Year's Eve, go with this one. These ones are still really long lasting too and great and moisturizing. So I'm gonna have everything I used on my face linked down below in the description box, but I hope you guys had a good Christmas if that's what you celebrate. I hope you have a safe and fun New Year's Eve. Happy 2019, folks. I cannot believe it. Next year is gonna be 2020. What? I just wanted to say 2018 was one of my best years yet, if not my best year yet, for multiple reasons, and you guys and YouTube were a big part of that. So I just wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of you guys who come back every single Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and watch my videos and support my channel. I truly appreciate it, and I love you guys. So thank you for watching. See you in 2019. Wait, no. There's a video going up on Friday. <laughs> just kidding. I'll see you on the 28th.